You're watching WMAR 2 News. Baltimore police are shedding light on crimes that happened over the weekend. Officers say there was one homicide. In addition, there were two non-fatal shootings in the city. Officers responded to 22 robberies and police arrested 17 people for a variety of crimes. Most of those were gun related. Well, she was murdered in the middle of the day and no one, no one has come forward to help police uh, help find the killer. Tonight, Baltimore County officers hope a reward for information will change that. We shared Diamond Trueheart's murder back with you in January, and now Metro Crime Stoppers is offering up to $2,000 for information leading to an arrest. She was killed leaving a store at the Catonsville Plaza right off the of Baltimore National Pike. Police say there were a lot of people in that plaza's parking lot when Trueheart was shot and killed. COVID cases are rising. The city's health commissioner talked about the trends that she's seeing right here in Baltimore. We are seeing new cases. Um, they're predominantly among individuals under the age of 39. So unfortunately, we're seeing a trend of more younger people getting COVID. Which and I she think says getting vaccinated remains the first line of defense. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Lots of sunshine staying in the forecast as we head towards your Tuesday. The morning, a little chilly, but things get better as we head into the afternoon. We do spend most of the day in the mid to upper 60s, but I expect us to get into the 70s during the afternoon near seasonal norms. And the warming trend continues as we head through the seven day forecast, warming into the lower 70s. Wednesday, mid 70s, Thursday, but we're watching rising rain chances as we head toward the weekend. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2news app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello.